Well, today, the government have announced Natasha's Law, new legislation to force all food outlets to accurately label their products. And as one person who has supported Natasha's parents throughout their fight to change the law, and that is Sarah, Duchess of York. And we're joined by all three of them now. And good morning. Welcome. And thank you good so morning. much. Lovely to thank see you, you again. Um, we'll start on a positive, I mm. think, because, um, because this has been hard won and congratulations yeah, are in congratulations. order. congratulations. Because you've done it. Um, we have. So uh, <laughs> explain today what you've achieved. Well, it, it's a momentous day because uh, Natasha's law is coming to fruition and what that means is food businesses in the whole of the UK, actually in England and in, in Northern Ireland to start with, will have to comply with the new legislation which is to fully label ingredients and allergens on prepackaged foods uh, and that is, covers millions and millions of food products basically and that will help all the people in this country, well over two million people and growing, to have a safer life and avoid terrible, terrible consequences. Well, exactly. And this law will save lives and it will stop any other family out there from enduring this horrific pain that, that you have gone through. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, the whole point of it was there was a loophole that wasn't being used properly. And after a public consultation, that the public was saying, we want all the labels. If something's labelled, it has to be the same. Mm -hmm. It can't be one rule for some and another rule for others, because we won't know. Mm -hmm. And that's how people get caught out, which mm -hmm. is what happened to Natasha. Well, it's always lovely to have a high-profile supporter. It is. And, uh, and uh, Sarah, Duchess of York, is, uh, is here. Can we call you Sarah? Is that please, it? please, yeah. yeah. Um, what, what, how did you get involved with the family? Because I know that was under very sad circumstances circumstances well yes I, I'm, I was going through the airport and I heard them really crying and and rather than sort of say oh well I'll just walk on I, I sort of was so worried I didn't know what on earth had happened and then on the aeroplane I was sitting right behind them so I put my hand rather rudely um, in, in sort of over the top because you know not getting up and I said I, I'm so sorry but I've just got to know is there anything I can do I, I, I just feel so much pain for you mm -hmm. and Nadim uh, said um, he said, "Well, you know, our daughter's coffin is under is in the is in under the in the, in the hold," and I just went, as a mother, I just just I just went, "Oh my gosh, yeah. right, okay, what can we do?" And I actually, funny enough, Tanya and Nadim just said she wanted to talk about Natasha, yeah. and yes. so in fact, I think what, what we really talk about as well is just listening sometimes. And I just kept my hand there, didn't I? Yes. I was so pushy. Yes. <laughs> but but no, actually, no, on Natasha's no. sake, and sitting here today, thank heavens we were, really, yes. weren't yeah. we? And, yeah. and I just, as I kept thinking of Beatrice Nugeny, I kept thinking, I don't know. And no, then, Philip, you no, said no. you'd 17 years ago, you talked to her about being 17 early on before we came on. Yeah. And I thought, that's just the age of Natasha. Yes. And mm -hmm. you're sitting here and remembering that. Mm. And we are sitting here remembering Natasha mm. today. Mm. And I I think that's really important. And, and Michael Gove coming out today saying that the government is supporting your dream. And, yeah. and that, I mean, but you know, I was reading, uh, reading up because I had to go to Southampton University to study what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, I, and Professor Holgate was amazing. And he said there is now an epidemic. 44% of adults are suffering from allergy and, and, uh, and all of these mm. different kind of allergies. And that the, this is why Natasha's law is so important and Natasha's army is to really get out there and say to people, you can help mm. because if the more money goes into research and Im immunotherapy, it's a big word for this time of day, um, but, it, it, but it actually if you can get out there and help, we can make a difference and stop allergy, full stop. Mm. Correct? Am I right? You, you, you're, it's, I'm just and that's what I want to do. Yeah. Well, something else <laughs> you, you've, just, you've been right. integral in is, is um, sort of setting up this foundation, um, which you are now a patron of. I know you're very, very proud of that. And, and the, the point of the foundation is to create funding so that this research that you were talking about, particularly down at Southampton, can, can continue and that they can make the advances that they need. Because, like you said, allergies are on the increase and they're evolving and changing. And yet, at the moment, within that the, the health field, there's not mm. enough people looking into it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it's, mm. it's kind of like a hidden mm. secret for a long mm. time. And mm. Natasha's inquest or the news that was generated out mm. of that brought light onto that. And suddenly people think, oh, I've got an allergy. Yes, mm. you know, yeah. I'm being... Mm. There's a point now mm. where those people, millions, can be recognised for what they have, uh, and which is often life-threatening. I mean, that, that's a really strong word, life-threatening. You could actually die within an hour from the food that you eat. Yeah. Really shocking. And from a to tiny most amount of, of that and food for, as well. Yeah, one peanut has enough proteins in it to kill six people, basically. To give just a sense of it. So, mm. so 
it's a really big issue. And Natasha's charity, uh, if you like, is, is all about tackling that head on. Yeah. We know, ambitious, head on, sorting things out with big plans mm. and big goals. Mm. Uh, and, and for which we really need the support of, of the viewers and the general public. Well, it, it must have been a surprise to you in such a horrible, horrible time to have a, have a hand come through between the seats on an aeroplane and then turn around and think, good gracious, it's the Duchess of York. Mm. It made the journey bearable, actually. Yeah. Um, you know, we just found out where the coffin was. We'd asked to find out. Every BA plane has space for one coffin in the hold and we didn't know where it was and they told us, actually, she's right under your seat. Mm. And we just found that out and it was, I actually didn't know how I was going to get through that journey going home and to be able to talk to mm. you about mm. her and we, mm. we talked about yeah. memories yeah. and yeah. we just talked about Natasha as if yeah. she was with it was, us it was and it was, it, was, it was lovely, and it was mom, really lovely. Of course, I mean, you'll, yeah. you'll be thinking of your own daughters as you, as you said there because it's the wrong way round, that's not the way it no. should happen. Mm. And, and every day I keep a picture of Natasha and I talk to her. Mm. So I decided this year I would um, re retake my helicopter licence for the for the foundation. Oh, wow. I know, yeah. so I've now got to do it. It's my 60th year in, 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 for Natasha. Yeah, yeah, of course. And so as I take off, I'm going, OK, Natasha, thanks yes. a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was um, passionate about the law and human yeah. rights, so to sure. have this law in her name would be something mm. she'd be incredibly mm. proud of, and yeah. of you both for, yes. for putting this intuition and making mm -hmm. it happen yeah. which is why we've launched natasha's army so we've launched we're launching the foundation today so the charity it's natasha's allergy research foundation mm -hmm. and joining natasha's army is really not just for people with allergies but for the whole community mm -hmm. so whether you're you're you know 12 years old and you've got a friend that you sit next to um, with an allergy or whether you're a gp and you have allergic patients mm -hmm. or whoever you might be and it's about raising awareness it's about education the law, and then obviously health. So we're going to try and do the 360 degree kind of care plan for people with allergies and research will be at the forefront. What a fabulous legacy. Yeah. Can I just say um, something that I have to say? That as a, as a parent, we're all parents, but yeah. you are so brave, honestly. You are so courageous, both of you. Mm. And Alex, you know, your son, I just really admire you because mm. it's so, it's yeah, so heartbreaking, and you're sitting here, yeah. and you're fighting on, and it's an example for millions. Mm. And, and I think it's just wonderful. Well, it's lovely. Yeah. It's also mm. fabulous yeah. to, to to meet someone high profile who's then suddenly very, very involved in the charity. But yes. you've taken this really seriously. I mean, you've kept yes. in touch. You've, you've become friends, which is lovely. You've got a, a, an invitation to to Eugenie's wedding, which was a, that's a lovely touch. That's it a is. nice thing Thank to you. do. And every uh, now and again, we would get like little letters through the post, <laughs> you know, photos from a trip in a frame, and just. Lovely Flowers, little, yeah, little just vases with engravings on, yeah. and, and, and all manner of things. Wow, what's this? You know, and, and, for no and, um, other reason yes, other yes, than you just yes. cared. So it's yeah. quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think through tragedy, you know, I think as human beings, I think, and I think all viewers would recognise this. There's so much good yeah. in the human soul, yeah. and sometimes it takes a tragedy for that to come out, mm. and for people to drop, if you like, sometimes they're. I said they're, they're uglier side, you know, the people that where people are defensive and you know and angry. Mm. But tragedy just Goodbye. brings people together in a way, and so much good comes from people's heart because we're all good people. I think we all are. Just we have to have that opportunity for that to be expressed sometimes. And we've seen so much of it, yeah. so much of mm. that. Yeah. You know, just quickly, in the Amish country, in you know, the Amish Amish people in America, mm. there is very, very, very. There's hardly any allergy whatsoever because there's no cars and no... Right. They just get on with their own little community mm -hmm. and there's no allergies. So I think it's really... Life, for, life, life. I know, life is giving... Life. Our life is giving us... Exactly. Yes. And, and, but, yes, so true. that's why we need... We, that's need why the, the army is... Why, yes. oh, why? So, so we're yes. all going to... We're off to Pennsylvania to become Amish. Yeah. Is that right? After you. Um, yeah. No, well, lovely, I'm sure. Well, you can go in the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Thank, thank you very, very much. much indeed. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.